Hey everybody and welcome to the Quadcopter Review. I'm your host Pepe Prawns and as always I'm going to ask you to go ahead and like this video, make a comment if you choose to, and subscribe to the channel if you're not already a subscriber. Subscribers help us here grow the channel, liking and commenting helps us on the old YouTube search engine, and if you look at the very very top right here you're going to see the latest giveaways going on on the channel. And you're always going to find that at the beginning of any of my videos, you'll find the latest giveaways at the top. So today I'm bringing you the Mobula 7 HD. So I got mine in FR Sky. I haven't opened this box even yet, as you can see. So let's go ahead and cut it open and see what we get in the box. For some reason the Mobula 7 boxes are always a bit soft and semi-crushed when I get them. So we've got a manual, looks a heck of a lot like the URUAV manual um, to actually to the letter. It's the same manual, very uh, detailed manual. It's going to tell you everything you need in there. The reason why it looks so similar to the URUAV manual is because this little guy has about all the same parts. So we have our 3S uh, Happy Model branded um, 300 maw here and it is an HV battery so 4.35 we've got the little kit here which also looks exactly the same contains a screwdriver set of props prop puller and a XT32 JST2 so you can use two 1s's if you like converter and we have our camera settings board same as the other we'll put that up at the top because I got about 20 of them now and we've got the Mobula 7 HD itself. Now, this little guy here is using the V3 frame, which is much sturdier, at least to me. And uh, I'll show you in the flight footage that. We're using the same 1102 9000 kV motors. And that is a change from the first round of these. The first round had 10,000 kV motors. And this is using the 1102 9000 kV motors. We have the Crazy B F4 Pro version 2, same as that URUAV did. We have a adjustable camera and they use the Turtles V2 in there. We've got that 4-in-1 uh, ESC that is 5 amps per on that one. And we've got, um, again, mine's FR Sky. You can get it in PNP if you want to and put your own receiver in there. That FR Sky is D6 and, D16 and D8, whichever one you want to use. Got the little um, straw style antenna going on this guy. And we've got our Turtles um, settings wire hanging out the side just like the other. This one has a little bit different of a mount. It's uh, more sideways than vertical than the URUAV was. Now, if you saw my URUAV UR85HD video, I talked about this wire right here and how concerned I was with how easy these are to be flopping around inside these whoops because they're so small. So this is what will happen as I warned. Couldn't even listen to my own warnings. I'd really like to see them think about this when they're doing something on their frame somewhere to, to, to better put this guy but it did pop out i had it tucked under and it popped out and it got hit by the props and knocked the jst2 off which is not any fun to put back on i don't even think it's a jst2 it might just be a jst but like i've done here i've crammed this one inside on that ur85 to try to prevent that so that was post-flight, but let's get back to pre-flight here. And like I said, we've got the pretty much the same parts on both of these guys. Uh, one's 85 millimeter, and this guy is 75 millimeter. Same, you know, setup, same frame, like I said, as the original Mob 7. And a lot of flight performance is the same too. Um, they, with the weight, they managed to keep almost the flight performance the same by adding the motors. Uh, that we were used to in just the regular Mobula 7. So I know I can't figure out which way to say it. Mobula, 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 I, I don't know. So we'll just say whatever I say when I say it. So another good job by by Happy Model. Um, really like it. Uh, we'll go into the flight footage. First, I'll show you how I set up the Turtles V2 on this one. Now you're gonna go in and you can set your video here. You can see the resolution is 1080, but you can also do 720 if you wanted to at 120, if you want to slow-mo it up or something, but we want that. And I turned auto recording on, so that way when you turn the plug, the battery in, it starts recording. 
great feature to me. Then we're going to go in the camera settings here. I set my EVO to, uh, well, my EV to negative um, 0 0.3. And then we will go into the camera settings himself and set up our settings for contrast and all that good stuff. Um, what I've been using lately is uh, four, four all across the board. Um, it used to be a little bit different than that. I don't know if there was a firmware change somewhere in between, but I've found that that's really good. So now we just save and exit and we're out. So let's now do what everybody wants to know. How much does it weigh? So we weigh 47.9 without the battery and we're coming in at about 73.2 with the battery. So let's get flying. Nice performance out of it. Speedy, just like the original was. I wasn't sure how it was going to be knowing that we were going to get more weight with the V2 turtle on there. And uh, I think the motor combination they selected uh, has worked out to get us in the performance range that we were expecting from the original non-HD version. And I, I found it to be nice. I, I'm pleasantly surprised. Like I said, I was very worried. You know, this model was such a great model. And with the frame issues the original one had, it kind of, I think, left a pretty sour taste in a lot of people's mouths. I mean, again, something must have happened after production. I, mean, I have one of the first ones that came off the line, and I still haven't broken my original frame with some serious hits. And this one I put the test to too. We're gonna zip down the driveway here and right here I'm stopping it because you see those posts down there at the end on the porch gap. I hit that post dead on full speed um, going through that, you know, going to, to hit that gap and, and hit the inner post there and hit it so hard I ejected the battery. I hit it so hard that I reset the turtle v2 settings so you're seeing Chris's nice quality here and you'll see all I did was pick it up plug the battery back in and start flying again and when we come back from this freeze frame you're gonna see right here how it reset now you can see how much thicker the footage is and stuff this is how a Caddx v turtles v2 looks when you don't make any settings off of the original how it comes so that's what I did. I hit it so hard and the frame made it without any problems at all. The other good news is the original ones they had sent out to probably about, I guess, 100 or so. Um, they were running 10,000 kV motors and ESCs were burning up. We don't have this problem at all with the 9,000 kV motors. Uh, I had no issues, many packs into it, no ESC issues, and I'm not by any means going slowly hit a tree again no damage so pretty happy with this one there'll be more footage in other videos to come so don't forget to look below for the links to this one and happy flying hey guys thanks for stopping by and checking out the quadcopter review if you want to see more interesting reviews on fpv related stuff take a look up here in the old right corner right there you'll find links to all the rest of my reviews if you want to get in on some of the best giveaways on YouTube look over here don't forget to subscribe right here on my chin and if you want to check out my flying only videos separated from the review channel check that out right here and thanks for coming don't forget to subscribe and happy flying